Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna talk about Club Path using your at-home launch monitor. What number on it is gonna help you determine if it was good? And I'll give you one of my favorite concept drill type things that we use here in the studio when I'm teaching people that helps make a big difference in this Club Path number really quickly. Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Excited to share this number. Thanks for all the feedback that we had on the previous video about Clubface. Make sure you go watch that video if you did not because it's going to have a big impact on what we do today and it's gonna have a big impact on what we do going forward. I'll mention it as we go through, but all of these numbers really do interrelate. It's not like you just work on one thing and then that's it and everything else is just gonna stay the same. What we actually see is when you work on on certain numbers other numbers start to change usually hopefully for the better if you're doing the correct things but they do relate in how everything starts to work and what goes on with your golf swing so make sure you watch that club face number because the club path definitely relates to it and we want to make sure we get that right before we jump into it though make sure you click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already also I've had a lot of people actually reach out for Christmas gift ideas so what I did was on my website, I do have a page listed for products, things like that, that I use, I think are great gifts. And also make sure you check us out on Instagram. I will link all that below. We do have our gift ideas going up on a daily basis. So make sure you don't miss out on all that stuff. Again, I'll link all that down below so you can check it out. Without further ado though, let's get into Club Path. Let's start figuring out how to read it with our launch monitor and how we're gonna fix it. All right, everybody. So we're here, we're in the studio. Let's start talking about club path and what you're going to use to be able to determine, hey, is my club path good? So let me give you an example shot up here. This is one that we have where we go back to our first number. If you didn't watch our last video on club face, go back and watch it because that is extremely important to start getting control of and understanding because as we're going further, we're not just going off of one number, you're building off of the number that was prior. You, all these numbers interrelate. So you have to be able to understand, hey, the ball started here and then it curved that way. And what does that start to mean? So in this shot, we're using E6 today, which the last one we used FS Golf. In that one, we used horizontal launch. That's the same in E6 as this direction this box right here where it says for mine 1.4 to the right that means my club face was approximately 1.4 degrees open at impact which means the ball started just a little bit right of that straightaway target line for me i actually like that because then i look at the next number i have my side spin now this shot we were exaggerating it a little bit just to make sure we get it but i wanted to see that ball curve to the left so that means if I see a shot that started right and curved to the left, I think you know my club path was actually really good. It actually was pretty exaggerated if you ask me, but let's talk about why I know that I had a good club path of in to out, and I know that I was hitting a draw, and I know for me, I would like that is to see that in my golf swing. And that's something if you're an over the top player, you would like to see something like this where hey, the, the club face was pointed a little right and the ball is spinning the opposite direction. If you're a lefty, flip that around. So I'm gonna use this yellow stick. That's gonna represent our club face, okay? Let's say I just hit a shot to simplify this. I'm gonna put this just straight ahead, okay? Let's say the club face was straight ahead. Now, the spin, the side spin is gonna get created. If I've got this club face straight ahead, it's gonna be created by the club coming in at an off angle and cutting across the golf ball. That's what's going to create side spin. So when I see a golf ball that is curving to the left, what I have to know is my club path has to be swinging off to the right. I'm gonna represent that with the orange stick. Anywhere to the right, as long as the club face is pointed straight ahead, and we are assuming you hit it reasonably in the center of the club. Let's, let's assume that for all of our videos. But anything that goes that way with the club face still pointing straight ahead 
that's going to slide across the golf ball, create friction, and spin it to the left. That's what a draw would look like. Now, we're not going to talk about what a perfect draw is yet. What we want in this video is for you to see how to create certain shapes and understand the club paths that create them. So a shot that's curving to the left, that's what we're going to get. Okay. Now, if I flip this orange stick to the other side and I'm swinging to the left of the club face, again, the club face is straight ahead and I'm swinging left, that's going to make the ball spin to the right. Okay. Now, that's what most players struggle with in this game. And that's why we worked on the first part of the video is getting the club face or the first video in this series was getting the club face under control because there's a lot of players that actually have a fairly decent club path. You know, it might be like this. That's not bad. Maybe you want it a little more to the right. I don't know. But their club face is like all the way out here. So even if they swing into out, they're still gonna hit a fade or a slice, or they, it, if it's this exaggerated, you might shake it. You have gotta get the club face in a reasonable spot so that which club path you use actually matters, okay? Otherwise, you're so far off the grid, you're gonna be in trouble with that club face. So that's the general idea of what we're trying to do. Now let's, exam let's just hit one here, show we're not lying of what we're doing. So I'm going to just keep the face, you know, anywhere left of this orange stick and I'm going to try to swing the club overall. I'm going to feel like I swing along the orange stick and I'm going to keep the face squared ahead. And let's see what we get. And there that ball goes. It is curving to the left side and that's a pretty exaggerated one just to make sure we show the shot and show what's going on. So that's what we're going for. Now, how do you work on your club path? People will ask, all right, what's something I can do? Again, assuming you've worked on your club face, it's in a good spot. Now this box is here for a couple of reasons. One, this box is here, you know, because we like it for showing people where to hit. Two, we can just change this turf, but that's not the only things that we use it for is the ease of the sim setup. We use it for showing people and giving people a reference point. If you're gonna swing, let's say you wanna swing more inside to out, well, you now can look down on the ground and see where you're swinging. This is actually how I play golf in real life when I'm out on the course. I always get my target line, I picture where that is, and then if I'm gonna hit a draw, I picture swinging from the inside of that target line. If I'm gonna hit a fade, I, I kind of picture swinging more down the target line. But that's what I do. But what we try to help people out is giving them a consistent hitting surface where we say, all right, you wanna work on hitting a draw. Well, what we say is you've gotta to try to get to the inside corner of this rectangle as you're coming down to the ball, okay? So if they can do that, they'll swing from the inside corner, that's gonna take them to the outside corner, or it's gonna be an inside to out swing, okay? That's something we will work on. A lot of times when we do this, people do a lot of really good changes to their swing without even trying to go. And we just work on hitting some big shapes to start. Okay, because it gets a little bit tricky as you're working on this. Now, let's say we get the more rare occasion, which is somebody hits too big of a hook. Okay, get this with a lot of juniors and things like that. What we're actually going to work on, I don't actually like to go to the outside corner unless it's a really exaggerated situation. We actually will go more towards the middle. I will talk about entering the hitting zone from behind the ball and working to this inside corner, okay? So we're going from more of an outside to in feel, okay? And if I keep the club face square, that ball is going to curve the other direction. Again, that one's a little less common. It does, be, it does happen though once in a while. So that's kind of our generic, all right, hey, you wanna work on your path? You're working on the general concepts of this? That's what, we start getting people to see is how are you going to approach the ball? What does that look like if you have a setup? And this is one of my favorite ways to do that 
is to get a box and start thinking about how are you going to attack the hitting zones, what we call it, and then get that club path where you want it. So you could do that with tees. You could actually put a piece of turf in. We do that, looks a little cleaner for us. So that's how we work on club path and that's how we're affecting it and how we know it's good is that side spin number that you get on your Mevo Plus or your launch monitor that gives you that horizontal read. So let me know if you have any questions about it. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for all the comments about it. And remember, watch that club face video if you haven't. We will have more about how do you dial this in then? What are you actually looking for? How do you start matching up data to get a good shot that's going to take and translate outside? We're going to do all of that. Thanks everybody for watching. Don't miss out on that video coming up. Click the subscribe button and we'll see you when it comes out. Thanks everybody. Peace.